Okay, so we're going to be doing um, a math flow that's based on math one, something that, you know, when you're learning Pilates, there's math one or two. It's uh, not the av advanced version of, um, of the like traditional math, it's more of an uh, intermediate flow. So if you need a mat for under your back, if you need something for under your head, go ahead. So most you guys know all the exercises. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna start warming you up for five minutes or so. And then we're gonna go through a flow of starting with 100 moving forward. So Rania, um, I will try to give variations, but you know a lot of the variations. Okay, when you go through it, do the variations you need because I'm going to try not to stop and explain a lot, okay? 100 leg circles, and then we're gonna go to rolling like a ball, all the abdominal exercises, spine stretches, hip work, swan, everything, okay? So try to follow me and do what you can and do the variations that you feel you can. I'll be watching you, so if I feel if you need any kind of variations, I will try to give it to you as we're going along, okay? All right, so we're going to start laying down, starting with our breaths. I'm going to just change the position of the camera so everybody can see. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so we're here. Let me see if I'm on the screen all the time. <laughs> okay, something like this, maybe. All right. So start with laying down on the ground, however it's comfortable for you, and let's go through our breathing. So breathing in and out, just do a couple of breaths. Oh, I'm trying to see what this camera used to be. So breathing to the back and side of the rib cage, breathing out, scooping the pelvic floor, hollowing the abdominals, hugging the hips, the waist and the lower ribs. Breathing in, always trying to lengthen the spine as we breathe in. Back side in front of ribs, breathe out. Gently activate the pelvic floor, hollow the abdominals, lift, hugging, hip bones, waist and ribs, okay? Arms can be reaching down to your feet, shoulders wide if you need to bend the elbows because your neck or shoulders are tight go ahead and bend a little bit to give room for the shoulders give me two more breaths on the next breath out you're going to scoop the abdominals and use the abdominals to tilt the pelvis pubic bone closer to belly button no squeezing of the butt Breathe in, lengthen spine, keep the ribs still, arch the back, activating the back muscles, activating the abdominal muscles to imprint the low back on the spine. Lengthen, 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 and the pelvis tips forward. Okay, so abdominal muscles to imprint, back muscles to arch. Now you find that both sides of the abdominals are working evenly. So you scoop, scoop, scoop until you find the two columns of the abdominals working, then you lift. Then you lengthen, lengthen, lengthen until you find the two columns of the spinal muscles working, and then you tip. And you wanna make sure that both sides are working, front and back of the body. Last one. When you go forward, as you move back towards imprint, find your neutral. Breathe in and out. Stabilize that neutral. And we're going to march just to get that core working. So one leg floats up without the pelvis tilting. So that arch on the back should still be there. Activate the core, leg goes down. Breathe in, other leg goes up. Don't rock and roll. And don't tilt the pelvis forward and back. So we have the pubic bone heavy and, sorry, the tailbone heavy and the pubic bone reaching forward. Keep everything stable on the mat and make sure you're breathing out as that leg lowers. Good. Finish it off, one more to each side. Make sure that you're really stable.
Good. Stay here. Arms to ceiling. Let's crunch. If you need to support your head, go ahead. Tuck your chin. Lengthen the back of the neck. Keep pelvis neutral. Scoop the abdominals. Push through the back of the ribs. Crunch. Breathe in. Roll down. Give me three more. Keep scooping the abdominals and not pushing it to the ceiling. And roll control down, good. If you wanna make your arm movement bigger, go ahead. Without popping that rib cage. As you roll, the arm only goes as far as the rib still stays still. Breathe out. Good, and now we're gonna march for four. Crunch, march. You're giving me stability. Out, march. Roll with stability, nothing moves, just that rib cage. Two more. Good. And last one. Good. Bring the hands to the floor, imprint, march one leg up at a time, keeping the back still. Knees close to you, stable. Knees away from you, harder. Single leg toe taps, breathe out. Scoop the belly, just relax the leg where the back doesn't move, back up. So don't try to go very far if you're not ready for it. Just keep scooping, pushing the abdominals into the mat so you're really sinking right there above the pubic bone. You're sinking everything onto the mat. Good, we're gonna finish one more. If you're uneven, finish two more. Good, crunching. Move the legs away or keep it close to you. Arms to ceiling or behind your neck. Don't move the legs, just crunch. Roll the head, roll the shoulders, bring the arms down and move it back down without moving the legs. And two. And down. Two more. Three. And down. Last one. Four. And down, hug your knees if you need to. Otherwise, continue with me, extending the legs out. One, and down, two. Remember, the arms don't need to go very far, neither do the legs. If you need the legs to go to the ceiling, fine. If you can't straighten it, don't. Last one, and reach. And down, keep your hands on the ground. March the legs back down and we're going to bridge. So keep your heels somewhat close to you in alignment with your sit bones and breathe out, scoop, imprint, press into the heels, squeeze the butt this time, roll halfway up. Hold, breathing in, length of the thighs, breathe out, roll down. Good, watch your shoulders, yeah? Keep reaching down, don't roll the shoulders. Press into the heels, scoop. So you're gonna give me about six bridges and each time you bridge up and down, you're gonna to try to go a little bit higher. Just see what your back is doing. Breathe out, scoop, imprint. Press into the heel, squeeze the glutes. Roll, 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 roll. Breathe in, lengthen, reach the thighs and the tailbone forward from the esophagus if you're up there. Really articulate the back because we're gonna need that articulation. Two more. Keep lifting the glutes, keep the chest and ribs down. Keep lengthening the thighs forward. Good. Breathe in to lengthen, breathe out. Watch that your low back is not pushing up, okay? It's just down here from the hips. Chest and ribs stay down. Yeah. So let's finish it off one more. Keep reaching the arms and the scapulas and release back down. Very nice, cross the leg, let's do a quick stretch. Do two, three breaths. Good, then bring it down, switch. Just about three breaths. Nice, and release back down to the ground. Okay, so we're gonna start with our hundreds, okay? All the positions for the hundreds are, you can keep your legs down 90 degrees straight and you can start from here. 
Let's start with the legs down. Every 20 pulses, I'm gonna change from here to here to here. And then you can lower wherever you feel like you want to lower, okay? So arms are gonna go up to ceiling. Feel free to keep your head down and pulse. From this point on, I'm just gonna try to cue everything without stopping, all right? So tuck your chin, zip your inner thighs together, lengthen the back of the neck, and let's crunch and start pulsing. Breathe out to crunch. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five, two. Out. Lift the legs if you can. In, two, three, four, five. Out. Two, this is four. Out. Lengthen if you can, five. Six, crunch higher on your breaths, out. Lower the legs if you want, seven. Breathe through your ribs, eight. Keep lowering if your back allows. Nine, strong arms, everybody. 10. Good, stay up, lower the legs all the way to the floor if it doesn't bother your back. Otherwise, bend them to the floor and glide. Arms go back and we're gonna go to rolling up. Flex your feet. You can keep your legs together. I'm gonna keep my apart. Take the arms only as far as they'll go. And let's breathe out to start rolling. Press into the back, lift. Anchor your sit bones, lift the spine, and remember you're going up and over a big beach ball. Abs back and torso forward. Breathe in to start going back, breathe out. Scoop the abdominals. I'm gonna add my sponge to my lower back to help me come up. Keep pressing the legs down. Keep everything down as the arms reach back. Good, let's do five more. Breathe in, breathe out, push into the sponge. Keep the legs pressing, scoop and lift, reach. Keep lifting your rib cage, lift, lift, lift and reach. Don't move your sit bones forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Press the legs down, scoop the abdominals, control the load, roll down. For those of you who wanna make it a little harder, when you come up or down, your arms stay closer to your ears. Scoop and reach, lift, lift that rib cage and then reach forward without even tilting the pelvis. Keep the arms up here if you wanna make it harder. Remember it's a rounding exercise. Three, four, so right. scoop, lift, reach. Breathe in two, start coming back. Keep your arms wherever you feel challenges you, okay? But keep pressing those legs down. Nice. Scoop and lift and reach. Good, keep lifting and then reaching. Good. Nice, this is our last one. I think this is six, you know I can't count. So, Press and roll and lift and reach forward. Good, and come all the way down. Stay down here, bring the hands to the floor. Right leg pulls in. I'm gonna bring the leg closer to the camera actually. Hand behind the thigh, bend both legs if you need to. Otherwise the other leg stays down. Stretch, breathing in, flex the foot and release. And two, yeah, watch that you don't roll the shoulders, just stretch all your, all as much as you can. And three, okay, I'm just gonna give it to you one more time. We're gonna come up and hold. Now you can hold on knee here, here, here. We're doing leg circles. We're gonna bring the circle across the face and across the leg, bring it down and around and back up. So give me small circles. If you're doing it with the knee, across the body, circle, and back in. The opposite side is staying still, leg pressing, no rock and rolling. Let's go, four to each direction, okay? And then drop, circle, if you can make it bigger, do. If not, just keep it small, keep the knee bent. Good, and reverse it. Out, without tipping the other side. 
circle across and up. Out, breathe in, breathe out. In and out. Last one. Keep the other side stable. That's the whole purpose. Good. Now we're going to do big circles going back across, but now the pelvis comes off the ground, but the shoulders don't. Circle back, you stabilize, continue the circle. Give me three to each direction. Roll, keep the shoulder down. Press. So you always stabilize back. At the center point, stabilize, continue the circle, hold, reverse, out, kick a football and let the pelvis go with the leg, pull the leg back into the hip, hip joint, and two, nice rotation, and three, and bend the knee into the chest, good, give me a couple of breaths, foot goes back down on the ground and glide it forward, Legs together, pull the other leg in, hand behind the thigh, and stretching for four. So straighten, flex, release. Two. Three. Good. On the next one, we take it wherever we're going to leave it. So it could be here, 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 here. Anchor the leg into the hip joint, wherever it is, and we're going for the circles. Now watch this, cannot move. Across the body, down, start slow, and back up. Keep the leg anchored. Two, we're doing four to each direction. If you feel you can increase the size of the circle, go ahead, but don't disturb the stable side. And this is four, comes up, and we reverse it. Out, breathe out. Swing it around and back up. Don't move the side. Two. Stabilize the ribcage. Shoulders, arms are on the floor helping you. And this is four. This leg that's on the floor is active, yeah? Now, with the rotation of the pelvis, bring it back across the body. The pelvis lifts, but not the shoulder. Circle around. Stabilize the pelvis and bring it back up. Two. We're doing three to each side. Three, breathe in, breathe out. And we're going to reverse it. Drop it, stabilize, 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 stabilize. Kick a ball and let the pelvis follow and sink the leg into the joint. Two. And three. And bend that knee into the chest. Bring the other knee in, and we're going to do rolling like a ball. So if you have a disc or any problem with your back, don't do this, okay? You can just balance. So we can come all the way up. Try to tuck your chin, come up, and balance here. Otherwise, roll to your side, come up, and find a balance point here, okay? You're going to round the pelvis. Round, 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 round. Then you're going to round the, uh, the belly button, the lower ribs. And then the upper back and the head are just going to look between your thighs. Stay balancing here if this is enough for you. You can try to roll back a little bit and then come back forward without letting the back go. For the rest of us, we're going to try to roll up and down. Don't go to the neck. Breathe out. Tip the pelvis to take you back and then try to come forward without, yeah, without touching. So pelvis, 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 and then abdominals bring you in hold. You should not change the position of the legs. Watch that the legs, okay? Legs don't move. And if you want to make it harder, hold it in. And pelvis tips you, and then your, your momentum, and abdominals bring you back. So give me three more. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out, keep the position of the back. Breathe in, good. Now hold the leg closer to the camera with both hands over the knee. The other leg is going to straighten out. Try to roll down nice and controlled and stay here for a series of five abdominals. So you're gonna hold all of these. You can support your head or you can keep the head down, okay? And we're gonna go here for 10. You can bring this hand outside. The other one keeps holding the knee. Breathe out, switch. Breathe out, the hands switch. One goes to knee, one goes to ankle. 
four, switch, five, hold inside the knee, six, crunch higher, seven, look right between your thighs, reach the other leg, eight, reach and pull, nine, 10, bring both legs in, crunch higher, rest down if you need to. You're gonna breathe out, reach the arms and the legs up. It can be straight up to the ceiling. Circle the arms and come back to starting position, pull and crunch, okay? It's usually done with a breath in, breathe out. If you need more stability, don't lower the shoulders and the head. Breathe out, reach further away without the head and the shoulders dropping. Circle, pull it in. Give me four more. Shoulders and head stay up. Circle the arms, bring it in. Two. Stay up, stay up. Three, support your head with both hands if you need to. Last one. Hold the legs, crunch down and rest for a second. We're gonna come back up and do single straight leg stretch. So you're gonna crunch up, legs go up, can stay bent or straight. You're gonna hold one leg, back of thigh or up here. The other leg lengthens away from the body. Okay, this leg, you're gonna pull up and hold. We're gonna switch for 10. Breathe out, don't lose the position of the shoulder. Come up, William, yep. Two, three, don't change the position of the pelvis. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, crunch higher, nine, ten, both legs to ceiling, hands behind the head, crunch up, six leg lowers, scoop the abdominal, try to imprint as you reach the legs away and bring it back up. You can do it with the knees back, two, and back up. Three, and up, four, watch your back, and up, two more, five, crunch higher, and six, bring the legs into 90 degrees, crisscross, rotate towards the camera, keep the opposite knee bent, reach the other leg out. Okay, look at your knee and your head is in line with the middle of the chest. Switch, two, switch, three, elbows wide, four, five, the leg reaching straight is touching the wall, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring your knees in and rock side to side. Good, I'm just gonna undo something here. Good, straighten the legs out. Ooh, nice abdominal stretch. We're gonna roll up to seated. So reach the arms up and breathe out. Come up or roll to the side. And we're gonna straighten the spine here. Legs are gonna open a little bit wider, okay? And we're going to be doing spine stretch forward. Bend your knees if you want to, sit on a rolled up mat or sit on some books. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals and reach up and forward. You should not move the position of the pelvis. And then breathe in, sit up tall, pull the shoulders back down. So my pelvis should not move, it stays. Breathe in to lift, breathe out, scoop, lift and reach. Keep your feet flexed, even if the knees are bent and stack the spine back against the wall. And go, four more. Breathe in, try breathing in and reaching. Breathe out, stack, that didn't work, keep breathing out. And stack. Good, and breathe. Reach, 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 up and over. Scoop those abdominals and up. Good, if you need to shake your legs a little bit, shake it because we're gonna do side to side. So same position, 
Arms go out to the side, hips anchor, okay? So keeping this side anchor, we're gonna go to this side. Arm goes up to ceiling and you go up and over. So the idea is the pelvis cannot move. You keep pushing this down, lifting and bringing the other side up and over. Okay, bring it back, bend the knees and sit up tall, Danya. You're too rounded. Lift and side. Anchor, anchor that's the up this hip down as you go across and back down. Good. Look at my back, how straight it is. And I go up and over. So I'm not rounding. I need to stay straight. Okay, reach, reach, reach. Opposite hip is pressing down. Arm goes up to ceiling, straighten the arm and lock that elbow, lock and reach, reach. I'm not doing this, reach, reach, unless I have something going on with my shoulder. Okay, let's do one more to each side. So reach and side and back. Last one, reach and side and back. And down. Good. Bend your knees or shake your legs. You can lean back a little bit. And we're going to go into saw. So now we're going to add rotation and a reach. Okay. Arms are out to the side, legs a bit wider. And we're going to rotate without the hips misaligning. So you keep the knees bent, keep the knees bent, or sit on something high. Rotate. Now, after you rotate, switch palm of the hand facing out, the back one facing back, and reach to my pinky toe. Scoop the belly back, reach the arm forward, drop the head, and now the back arm is reaching back, trying to grab somebody. Come back up, arms to center, and rotate. Rotate the hands, scoop the belly back, and reach, pinky to pinky, the back hand is reaching back, and palm can go up to ceiling if that helps. And then come up and rotate, good. And rotate, scoop and reach. Rotate the palms of the hand. Make sure the back arm is reaching back and the abdominals are reaching back. Up and rotate. And scoop, rotate the hands and reach, drop the head. We're gonna breathe in, come up and rotate to the other side. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, up, rotate. Breathe out, reach. Give me two more, come on. Breathe in, up, rotate. Scoop the belly and reach the arms opposite each other. And last one, and rotate. And back, release. Close your legs and turn around, belly down to go into our extension work. So we're gonna start with baby swan, legs together or legs apart, hands in alignment with the head or the shoulders if you go a little bit higher, okay? Let's get the forearms down, tuck your chin a little bit, lengthen the back of the neck and head. Pull the abdominals off the mat and lengthen your tailbone. And let's lengthen the whole torso forward and shift the chest forward to lift you. At the top, let's raise that arm and see that we're really working that upper back and not the lower back. And then come back down. Let's do two more like this. So pull the shoulders and scapulas down. Widen shoulders, widen elbow. And lift the abdominals, lengthen the spine forward. Pull the shoulders and scapulas down and keep lengthening the tailbone back. Lift the arms. Are we working the upper back? Yes, then come back down. Okay, now we can try to go a little bit higher or just stick with this. Come up, keep the hand down if you want, but keep lengthening the chest forward and the tailbone back. Okay, if you're gonna come up a little more, you keep those abdominals tight. You keep the shoulders down and wide and you don't come up through that lower back, okay? Last two, pick your whatever is comfortable for you, low swan or higher swan as long as you're not compressing that low back. Keep the abdominals lifted, keep that tailbone long, and come up only as far as you can. Good. Now, we're gonna come up into 
a small baby swan if you want. Your head can stay down or you're gonna lift. I prefer that your hands clasp, clasp together and you press into the elbow. It doesn't need to be under your shoulder. It can be slightly forward, okay? Abs lifted and look, press into the elbow and lift. The scapulas wrap around, the chest and the abs are tight. Bring your legs in alignment with your sit bones. You're too high, Simone. Okay, and we're gonna flex the foot, toes face down, heel up, and you're gonna kick, kick, heel to butt, using your hamstring, lengthen the leg and release. Nothing else moves, abs lifted, and let's go. Two, kick, kick, lengthen and release. Breathe out, in. To lengthen and down, push into the elbows, grind that slap, round the scapulas and keep the abdominals lifted. Okay, four. And reach. If it's too much, come down, be here. If it's too much, come down, forehead on arm and just continue with leg. And kick, kick, reach and down, kick, kick, reach. Down, let's do last two. and come down, nice. Now, rotate your head to the screen, clasp your hands behind your back and release the shoulders and the arms, okay? You're gonna bring your legs a little bit more together and we're gonna kick both heels to the butt, kick, kick. You're gonna imagine your hand is tied to your foot, double leg kick. You're gonna reach the leg, reach the arms, rotate the head, Squeeze scapula, open chest, then rotate head to the other side and bring everything back to side position and click, click, click. Okay, be, be, be careful that you don't move in the back. Go, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Switch the breath if that doesn't work. Breathe in. Two, three, breathe out. Squeeze the scapula, reach the legs. If it doesn't work for you, grab a towel or the sponge. Hold on to it. Or just reach the arms without clasping it. Last one. One, two, three, reach. Make a pillow with your hand, rest. Give me three breaths to the belly. And the last one we're gonna do is swimming. So we're gonna bring the hands out to a V, the legs out to a V, shoulders wide, pinky on the ground if you need it, or hands on the ground if it's a little bit more comfortable for you, okay? Breathe out, lift the abdominals, lengthen the tailbone. And we're gonna keep one arm on the ground, opposite leg, and then just reach the, the opposite two. Don't bend the knee, and down. Float your head up if you can. And press those other, the two that lifted down, lift the other two. Opposite leg and arm reach. You're looking down at the floor, your head is straight. Head is straight, yeah? Either put something under the forehead or I prefer you float the head. Press two on the ground, lift. Press two, reach. Now, stay here. Up, reach without resting, switch. Switch without resting, switch. Don't move pelvis, don't move shoulder. Switch. Switch, lift those abdominals, everyone. Reach the leg long. I don't want you to bend at the knee. Don't bend at the knee. Switch. Now, if you can, keep switching without stopping. If you need to touch the floor, touch. If you don't need to, just flow. Keep the tailbone long, lift the abdominals. Keep the pelvis still. Open up those shoulders, reach the crown of the head, reach the arms, reach the legs. Breathe to the back of the ribs. 10 seconds to go. Long bodies, long bodies, long bodies. And relax now. Make a pillow with your hands. Just give me three to four breaths. Good. Hand goes under, you go straight. 
rotate to the side and we're going to start doing a leg series so rest the hand under the arm sorry over the arm good hand in front of you legs in alignment with body so head shoulder hips then if you need to bring your legs slightly forward for more balance that's fine just make sure that your hips stay stacked okay so legs are sliding in front of the body now lift the top leg reach long give me that mouse hold good lift the abdominals connect the ribs with the pelvis and lengthen the tailbone so make sure this is really active leg lifts 10 let's go one remember the waist doesn't move two lengthen and lift good no movement on the bottom waist three nice four five six both feet flexed seven eight nine 10, stay up here, point your toe, circles, five to each direction. So watch your hand for support, come forward, go up, go back without arching or moving the pelvis and back down. So nothing moves here and go two. Reach and lengthen, but don't arch the back to move you. Three, good, keep stability, four, the leg will move, but not the pelvis. And five. Good. Let's reverse it. Take it back. Up, forward, and front. This is much harder. Two. So I don't want to see this happening. Good. Keep the leg real long. Three. No movement. They stay stacked. Four. And five. Good. Stay here. Flex the foot. We're gonna go straight into leg kick. So you're gonna kick forward, kick forward, point, reach back. Again, no movement and go breathe in to kick forward twice. And point and reach. Two. You don't need to move too much. So you're not moving anything on the upper body. That bottom leg is really helping you. Four. Five reach six go 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 we're gonna go to ten seven kick kick reach the butt is working the hip flexors are working nine and ten and relax down nice work okay yeah so the last one we're going to do here is the bicycle. It's a little bit more challenging. So I'll give you a side view for this. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to kick. Then you're going to bend the knee. You're going to imagine that you're pedaling. Sorry, let's go back. Pedal the, the bicycle, bend the knee, and then reach it forward. Pedal the bicycle. So reach back, bend the knee back there, bring the knee forward, and straighten. So if you imagine a bicycle, you're pedaling just one side of that bike. Okay, let's try to do five for each direction. So we go back. When you're here, look at my knees back here. I bend the knee back here. I don't bend and the knee comes forward. So I go back, I keep the knee back, I bend, hamstring. Then I bring it forward and I extend. I take it back, the knee stays back. When I bend, it's purely hamstring. Then I bring it forward and then I reach, okay? So try to do two or three like that. Good, my pelvis is moving. And I'm gonna do last one. Now I'm gonna reverse. Keep it bent, take it back, bent. Straighten, kick a ball. Bend, reach it back. Try to straighten the leg without the knee coming forward and then reach, okay? So back pedal. Do what you can. Three, four, and my pelvis is trying not to move, and five. Now stretch real quick. Okay, the bicycle is a bit challenging if we do it right. Okay, we're gonna do banana. So we're gonna stay here, palm down, palm up, hand here or here. I'm gonna do palm up, legs together, straight line in the body, moving from this part. Tuck your pelvis and tuck your ribs a little bit, 
Okay, so you like you're doing a small crunch. Breathe out, let's lift. Keep your ear close to your arm. This hand can stay down. Remember, you can do it this way and down. Let's do 10 and go two. Don't roll the pelvis, stay stack. Lengthen and lift, three. Good, four. Stay slightly tucked here, five. Long, six, long, not short, good. Seven, eight, nine, nice job. And 10, stay here and top leg goes up. One, two, if you need to support with the hand down, you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, Woo, pain, eight, nine, 10. Bring it down, relax, go to your belly. Hands on the forehead. Be careful for low back issues. You're gonna rotate toes out here together. We're gonna lift the legs slightly up and we're going to do heel beats, okay? So we're gonna beat the heels. If that's too much, keep the legs down, maybe just this way, or just try to go up and down. It can go on your low back, so be careful. So lift the abdominals, tuck your pelvis, without squeezing the butt, just lift the abdominals. Now try to lift the legs and let's beat the heels for 30, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Relax. We're gonna switch sides. Ideally, we would have been facing the other direction, but we have to switch sides this way so we can see each other. And we're gonna do all the leg work here again. Okay. So adjust head, shoulder, hips. We have the arm down. You can support your head with something else. Legs come maybe slightly forward for you to have a little bit more stability. Both feet flexed. Lift the top leg and lengthen. And find that mouse hold down. Good. Make sure your hips are stacked, most importantly. And 10 leg lifts. And let's go one. Good. Two. Three, keep that lengthening on both waistline. Four, five. Imagine you're trying to reach that bottom top leg further than the bottom leg. Lift the abdominals, lengthen the tailbone. Seven, eight. Keep the abs really tight and lifted. Nine, 10, you stay up, point your toes. Five circles each direction. So we go fold, up, reach it back without arching the back and down. So you're trying to open the hip. Two, doesn't have to be big circles. Three, breathe in to go forward and up, breathe out to go back and down. Four, watch your ribs, skip it in and five. Reverse it. Breathe out, open the hips, keep the pubic bone forward and breathe in forward. Two, three, lengthen more, four, five. Good, stay here, flex the foot, leg kicks. Breathe in, 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 point, reach back. Keep this lifted when you go back. Two, three, lift when you go back. Four, good, five, six, four more, seven. Keep that body really lengthened and stable. Nine, 10, good, quick rest. And we're gonna go for those bicycles, five to each direction as well. So let's start with reaching back and then bending and reaching, pedaling. And pedal and reach, okay? 
So reach, bend forward, lengthen, pedal. Four. Don't lose the pelvis stability. Five. Good. So now we're going to bend back, straighten, kick a ball, bend, push a door, lengthen, kick a ball, and press something back, reach, okay, and make it fluid. And back pedaling. Last one. Good, and stretch. We're gonna do our bananas, 10, stay up and 10 leg lifts with the banana. So adjust head, shoulder, hips, legs, okay? Lengthen as best as you can, palm up or down. Stack and let's go. Remember to lengthen, not to lift with the neck. So keep the ear close to the, to the arm and go one. Nice long body, two. Three, I'm trying to reach my top leg further than my body, bottom one. Four, good. Five, six, remember if you're advanced, you can do both arms. Seven, eight, nine, tuck this, 10, we stay up. You can keep your head down if you need to, okay? And let's go top leg. One, two, this is advanced. Three, four, ooh, arm up. Five, six, reach everything, even the neck. Eight, keep this ear going to the ceiling. 10, bring it down. Woo! Bring the leg forward, nice job. Nice, come to your belly. And we're gonna do some push-ups. So curl the toes for those of you who can. Knees will stay on the ground, hands on shoulder height. So you either come up in a full push-up or you come to your knees first and then all the way up, okay? So roll the shoulders back. And when you're ready, push yourselves up and just hold the plank here, okay? Now, inner thighs together if you can. If you need to be separate, that's fine. Shoulders down. Press all fingers into the mat. Imagine you're pulling something and cupping your hand up a little bit. Okay, so you're really pressing so your wrists don't get tight. Round that scapula. Open, shift the chest forward. Chest up, ribs up, abs up, tailbone long. It's 30 seconds. Stay here. Good. So, Dani, you need to lift your pelvis and lift your low back. You're like this. Yeah? Lift the abdominals. Tuck the pelvis a little bit. Even if you're round, I'm fine with that. Not the upper body, the lower abdominals. 15 seconds to go. So, what we're going to do is not go all the way down. We're going to walk the hands to the feet in five seconds. So if you, I'm gonna start so you know, you're gonna walk your hands to your feet if you can. And then from here, we're gonna roll up to standing, scooping the abdominals and coming up. Sorry, I'm gonna be off screen a little bit. And then you're gonna roll back down and back towards that plank. Okay, so we're gonna roll back down, chin to chest, scoop the abdominals, roll down. Hands come to the floor, even if you need to bend the knees, walk yourself back forward. You're gonna give me two to three push-ups. Knees can come down if you want to, bend the elbows and push. Shoulders wide, don't drop the chest, don't drop the low back, and then we're gonna walk back. And you can be, bend the knees or not, scoop the abdominals, roll back up. And we're gonna do two more like that. Chin to chest, roll. Keep the abdominals lifted, okay? Just hold an elbow plank if you need to for three breaths. 
Now, give me three to five push-ups. Hold the plank for maybe five breaths. Elbows or hands. Otherwise, elbows go out at a 45 degree angle. Don't open and flare them out or it goes back. After your three to four push-ups, roll back, scoop the abdominals. And we have our last one. And we'll try to do seven to 10 push-ups, okay? If you need to release the wrist, release a little bit. <laughs> and then we go for our last set. Okay, so roll down, scoop the abdominals, walk it out, press the fingertips into the mat, zip everything, elbows out to the side, lift the abdominals. Please don't sag. Okay, you don't have to go all the way down. Watch the shoulders, don't collapse. Seven for me. Wow, I'm so weak. Eight. <laughs> Good, keep going. Nine. Finish yours. And then walk it off. Bend the knees. Roll up. <laughs> yeah. Circle the hands around. That's great. Nice work. Excellent. All right. So we're gonna come down into a stretch. So roll back down, bring the knees down. And we can either do a pigeon stretch or you can lay on your back and do a number four stretch. Okay, first, if you need to, fingers down, reach the wrist forward to stretch the wrist a little bit. Yeah, whichever direction you feel you need to, fingers up and reach. And then we do the other side. Fingers down, reach. And then fingers up, reach. Good. Then either you do a pigeon stretch where we bend the leg here. It doesn't have to be very open, okay? You can bring the leg in other leg back, or you lay on your back and you do the number four stretch. Make sure your pelvis is squared, and then you come down as far as it's comfortable for you. Good, and hold it there. We'll hold for a good 45 seconds. Good, breathe. Go deeper into the stretch. All right. If you're ready to switch, we can do the other leg. So swing the back leg forward, this leg swings back. Square your pelvis, reaching that leg back. And then breathe, making your way down. Ten more seconds, go deeper. Okay, and then push yourself up and bring the back leg, toes together, knees apart for child's pose. And then walk your hands forward, push your butt back towards your heels, and then come into the child pose that's comfortable for you. 
Okay, keep reaching the pelvis back, the arms forward, wide, as wide as you need to, and press that chest down if you need to, or lengthen it forward. And then walk your hands forward, lift your butt to the ceiling. If you want a chest stretch and don't have any shoulder issue, now keep the butt up and press the chest down. And then you get more of a front shoulder, front chest. Be careful that you're not compressing the shoulders so your arms can go a little wide. Shoulders should stay wide, no shoulders to ear. And you just stretch here. Doesn't need to be very strenuous. You don't need to be very high. And then come up a little bit more. Keep one arm stretching, your right arm, and then bring the other arm under and rotate butt to ceiling. I like to keep my arm forward, and then I rotate the other arm through. Okay. Walk forward more, but more to ceiling, wherever you feel that you're okay with it. Reach the arm across. Good. And then you're gonna bring the straight arm forward, press yourself up and switch. Bring the arm across, arm goes forward, but to ceiling. Really keep rotating that shoulder through. I keep reaching the straight arm up. It really gives me a nice stretch on my lats. Two to three more breaths. Good. And then when you're ready, hand comes next to your face and you push yourself up and you come all the way up here. Good job, everyone. All right, if you want to, you can keep uh, stretching anything else you want. I'm going to stop the recording.